everybody, it's Brian. Welcome to the 23rd C Sharp tutorial. Um, today we're just going to make a simple Windows form application and we're going to be discussing the checkbox. So let's just throw a checkbox and a button up there and then we're going to set the startup position to center screen on the form. That way it just pops open where we want it to. Align our stuff a little bit. Change the text of the text box, that's the label portion of it, to enabled. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this application very simple, very easy. Um, when it loads, it's going to check the state of this checkbox and it enable or disable the button. And when we check or uncheck the checkbox, it'll enable or disable the button. Let me show you what I mean here. F5 to run. When we check this, the button should be enabled. When we uncheck it, it'll be disabled. That's really all the checkbox does is just true or false, yes or no. So let's double click our form, get our form load. Double click our checkbox, get the checkbox one check changed. Notice how you can just double click the control and you don't have to sit here and uh, go into the events and muck around and figure out which one you want. So just a very quick shortcut. We're going to make a function here, private void, to checked. And we're going to say button one enabled equal checkbox one checked. There you have it. That's as hard as that is. And you notice how the enabled is a boolean and the checked is a boolean. So they're both the same type, so you can just say equals. You don't have to do any sort of funky processing. Then you can just add your function in here. So when the form is loaded, it's going to call a function. And when the state of the checkbox changes, it's going to call the function again. Save your work. F5 to run. Sure enough, it's disabled, enabled, disabled. So there you have it. There's the checkbox in all of its glory. Um, not a long tutorial, um, but this isn't a very difficult control to work with. So there's not a whole lot there to discuss. This is Brian. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this educational and entertaining.